check it out. Lewis's room is a small yacht. Oh, Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. Lewis that part of him lived on. Yeah. Lewis uh, liked the ganja, apparently. No, no, don't go out, bitch! No, stop it! No! <sighs> We're going back in. Oh, look at everything. Like, this is fucking awesome. Legalized marijuana. He was so proud of being Indian. I think for him, it was a way to be something other than just a finch. Okay. Don Finch. Dear Finch. Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. Okay. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Okay. Fish. He kept working at the cannery. Fish. But he withdrew part of himself. Fish. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. Fish. His mind began to... Okay, so what am I doing? Fish? No, there's no fish. Wonder. Okay. Oh! Oh! He's playing D&D &D in his head! I fucking love it! I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. This is fucking awesome! He'd feel his way about. Then something moved. Bats. And toads. Oh, this is getting difficult. It's a dragon! And things that have not names. A dragon. The is all in his head. Oh, I grabbed the fish. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. So far, this is... I'm liking this guy. But he found something new. Oh, the graphics just got even better. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. Okay. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Okay. Like a whole new Lewis. Because he's a fucking hero. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. I heard doggy. He'd made a new friend. Doggy! Yay! I see everything, it's getting bigger, like his world On is getting bigger. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. Lewis Topia. Hell he yeah. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. Yeah. People 
loved it. And songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. Yeah, I'm and digging this. always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. Look at they got fish. Fish. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. Yeah. So he could do whatever he wished. Okay. He held an election for mayor. An election? And he won. Ah, oh, that's cute. That's cute. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. It is a game for me. But it's getting you harder to see. Conquer a city, then immediately push on. Mine! New Louisville. St. Louis. Ha 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 ha, I see what you did there. He started drifting away from our reality. What's this one going to be called? Minneapolis. Ha <laughs> ha, that's cute. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Okay. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a... Of a what? Uh, handsome queen. Handsome queen. Oh, it's getting some, it's getting trippy. Oh, I'm tripping out. This is, this, this is all the weed. The queen was on her own quest for... Radiant rainbow. This sounds right. Radiant rainbows. Yeah, I found one. Good at he this. followed the sound of her. Oh, I killed one. Um, electric sitar. Electric sitar. No! This is getting hard. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Oh yeah, let's go there. Even then, his logic remained sound. Yeah, there's no... I don't see anything in the real world anymore. Except for the fish. He knew the world was all in his imagination. Not done yet. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. I hear a doggy. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, pet, I think pet. it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. Yeah. Fuck, fuck the salmon. 
My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Oh, shit. What are we doing here? He didn't chop his hand off yet. There's his favorite shit. Imperial Palace. Like that. There's a the game in there. That's cool. We began to forget the world we know. You can learn a lot about these guys just by looking at what they got. He's back to the fish. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Oh, I think we're gonna see this is Lewis up here. This is a good story. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Oh shit. I still thought I could save him. What are we doing? Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. Oh, the palace shit. would be packed with his companions. Yay! That's a guillotine, isn't it? We're gonna be crowned, all right. Including Yay. a wise calico. Insisted on advising. All the music. Where's the doggy, though? Where's the doggy? <laughs> the queen. His queen waited, holding his crown. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. We're gonna die. There's only one thing left to do. We're, we're gonna die. Then oh yeah. Crowd me. The rest I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by oh, all of us man. who knew him. Doesn't that suck? <laughs> but what a story! My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. What a story. Did I get everyone? I think that's about everyone on the family tree. Well, nope, except for Edie and Edith. And Sven. Well, I don't know. There's a few missing. This guy, man, this, this fella. Okay, hold on. There's a...